Hey, this is Phil Demmel from Violence and BPMD. We're hanging with Slasher Pepper. Then he's got to go back to class. Enjoy that shit, motherfuckers. Hey guys, Slasher Pepper here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be interviewing Phil Demmel, uh, ex-guitarist from Slayer. Or, oh. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> you were at Slayer once, though. Yeah. <laughs> ex-guitarist from Machine Head and currently in Violence. So uh, how are you doing? Good, good. Yeah, it's uh, I'm in the midst of trying to figure out how to open my bar. Um, we, me and the wife own a bar, and so with the, all the craziness that's going on right now, we need to figure out how we can bend the rules or try to find a way to, you know, be outside. Or it's it's pretty confusing right now with all the rules. So, right for sure. Yeah, it's it's kind of confusing what you can and can do. So, yeah. um. What kind of bar is it? I didn't know um, you had one. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a sports bar, kind of a rock bar. We've got a bunch of screens, and we show a bunch of sports. and uh, Just a neighborhood bar. Um, yeah, it's, it's hard because they're allowing restaurants to be open, but not bars. So I don't. there's not really much of a difference in my eyes. Or they want us, the bars, to serve food. You can be open if you ser serve food and... That doesn't make sense either, you know. So we're just waiting it out, let this craziness kind of subside. Right, right. Um, so do you have any new projects in terms of music or anything else coming up? Uh, yeah, Violence is recording. Uh, we're actually doing something kind of cool this week. Uh, we're going to do like a, something kind of special that should be released within a couple months. But we're recording, going to record a new EP, a new five-song EP and uh, excited about that so we're writing that and kind of jamming that out i've been doing these collab jams with uh, a bunch of just random musician friends of mine doing you know songs that i like from the past thin lizzie michael shanker group black sabbath you know van halen dead kennedy's a bunch of bunch of fun stuff so it's been fun getting those together and doing doing them that's great awesome sounds good um, and what's your favorite record that you've worked on? Like what, what you're most proud of? Ooh, you know, uh, the first violence record, Eternal Nightmare, got released uh, just a couple of days ago. It, it had been 32 years since it got put out. So I want to say the very first violence record is very special to me in the sense that I wrote, you know, almost all of the music on that and um, had a big hand in, in that. And it was my band out of high school. So it was right pretty exciting in that point must have some good memories about that mm -hmm. and um what's the biggest difference between playing and recording with machine head and violence um well in machine head uh i didn't record a lot of the rhythms the first the first record through the ashes empire i tracked all the rhythms i don't think that they got used or i you know there's i i don't know uh, Rob started tracking all the rhythms and I was just doing the, the solos at that point. And uh, so in violence, I'll be tracking on this thing. I'll be tracking all the guitars. And I just did a, a record called American made with this band called BPMD, which is uh, Bobby Blitz, Mike Portnoy, Mark Mingy and myself. And it's all of covers, American covers released in the seventies. So that was the first time I really tracked uh, rhythm tracks in like almost 11, 12 years or so. So it was, it was a lot of fun doing that. And, uh, you know, the previous band, that was somebody else's vision. And uh, this is more of a this is more of a group effort. Right. I see. And uh, do you miss playing with Machine Head? Uh, yeah, there was a lot of aspects that I that I do miss about that time. You know, 16 years is a long time to be uh, with a group of people. And, you know, so there was a lot of good times and. Um, yeah, you just, I was fortunate to have that, that long of a time with them. So, and it's just time to move on. For sure. And uh, are you still in touch with some of the members? Uh, well, me and Dave talk. <laughs> He's no longer. Right. Um, I've seen uh, a couple of the guys. I saw Logan on a couple of the things that I was doing. His band opened for uh, Metal Allegiance on a little tour that we did. And I saw him on the 70,000 tons of metal boat. Uh, I've talked to Chris a few times and um, super happy for, for those dudes doing the Burn My Eyes thing again. That's super cool. And I was such a fan of that record. And 
so it's awesome to see those guys jamming again. Uh, for the other dudes, um, no, I don't think that we're really allowed to be friends. So uh, I'll wait until I right. and when I'm I'm allowed to be friends. <laughs> right. <laughs> you can decipher that as as you know however you need to. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's the funniest thing that happened backstage while on tour? Like maybe it's a prank or something. Um, hmm. Funniest thing. I mean, backstage is, you know, it's, there's a lot of myth to what actually happens. You know, you see the memes of what my, my parents think happens, what my girlfriend thinks happens, what, you know, <laughs> happens. what actually happens is, you know, just dudes just looking on, on their phones. And <laughs> so, you know, we were on the Lamb of God tour uh, uh, in Philadelphia, and we had a, a, a poker poker game after. And it's not this isn't some crazy story or anything, but uh, so there was some guy hanging around the Lamb of God tour that was kind of mouthy and super cocky, and uh, thought he had this poker hand won or whatever like that. He started taking all the money towards him, and you know I was <laughs> holding a winning hand, and I said, "Dude, you know," and I threw my cards down, and he just looked pretty foolish. So I mean. That's the only thing that really comes to mind. I can't think of anything really that we can talk about. You know, right. <laughs> happens backstage. But especially in the back in the uh, the earlier early my earlier touring days in the late the late eighties, early nineties. So uh, back when you're single and and you know, it was the eighties, so <laughs> things were right. open and free at that point. You know. Everything was more fun back in the eighties. <laughs> I don't know, you know, I don't know about fun. It depends on, you know, I'm 53 now, so it's, uh, I still have a lot of fun doing, doing what I'm doing. It's just other responsibilities. How old are you? You can't be older than 30. Right. Yeah, I get that. No, I'm, I'm 17. So, uh, <laughs> 17. Holy crap. All right. There you go. Still got a lot of opportunities. <laughs> yeah, well, you live in the Netherlands, so you have some there. That's for sure. Right. <laughs> um, and what do you think of filming music videos? And what music video um, that you're in is your favorite? Uh, you know, videos are long days, and you know, it depends on what who you're filming with, um, how they go. Sometimes that you're you end up watching, you know, the lead singer just do 20 takes of stuff, and you know, you're <laughs> you're you're not there and in it much. So. Um, what was my favorite video? Uh, we did a, uh, I'll just say the, the the first violence video. That was my first taste of being in a video, and it was a live performance. So there's some crazy, you know, we had a kid with a helmet cam going on, and um, a lot of fun. Uh, big sold out violence show with the Stones. So I think that that was my favorite. It's it's the live videos that I enjoy the most. Yeah, I think it's funny because. Um... It seems like every musician just hates to shoot videos, yeah. um, but I'm but I'm currently in um, in film school, and our teachers sometimes fil film like um, music videos, and uh -huh. when they get the chance to do that, they're so excited to do it, and the musicians just hate to do that. I feel like. Uh... <laughs> yeah, they yeah there is. I mean, we're we're actually going to film one this Friday, uh, and so it should be fun. I think that it's going to be. You know, not a big drawn out thing, and it's going to be fun. We're going to film it down at my bar. And uh, so I'm not going to say what it's for, or, you know, or any of that yet, because it's kind of a secret. Right. Well, good luck with that. All right, thanks. <laughs> and um, what do you think of the current state of the music industry, like the radio stuff? Uh, you know, it's, it's we, I've never really been in a radio band. Um, my previous band tried to push for a radio single, a single and it wasn't. You know, it didn't work out, and it's it's never really worked out for the type of bands that I've been in. Um, so I don't really know the radio game all that well. Um, the industry is is, you know, there's a big thing over here with the Live Nation promoters where they're trying to hold the the artists really responsible for money, and they're not going to pay as much and take more on merch. So it's really, um, I'm hoping that the most of the touring bands will go choose to go more independent and deal with the mom and pop promoters. It's harder because they don't have the venues, but uh, take that, you know, kind of FU stance towards these, you know, this big corporation is just trying to rip off the artist even more. Right. Yeah. It sucks the situation. Yeah. Um, 
And what non-metal musician would you like to work with? Non-metal musician? Uh, Elton John. Elton John. Uh, that would be awesome. <laughs> always been uh, him and Bernie Taupin are my favorite songwriters. You know, I love Elton's stuff. Um, not the super poppy stuff, but even that's fun. And they're great songs, you know. But his earlier stuff, they really told a story of, you know, he really bought into, you know, a lot of his things. So, you know, El Elton John, somebody I really admire in that sense. Awesome. And um, are you into horror movies? Yeah. Yeah, I see your shirt there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Super cool. So, what would I you say are your favorites? I haven't seen a lot of the, the current ones. Who is the the one with the, the recent one with the clown? Um, oh, It? No, no, no. That's, you know, I, I Stephen King, I was reading back in the 80s, you know, so I'm familiar with that. But I love the reboot of It. It's super good. Uh, but there was another one, the guy with the... Terrifier. Terrifier. Uh, I, I interviewed that guy uh, a couple of months ago as well, actually. <laughs> cool. I met him at a Slayer show. He was at the uh, really? New York show that I, that I met. Yeah. What <laughs> uh, David Howard Thornton. No, no, but what is the 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 clown? He has a name. Oh, Art the Clown. Art the Clown, right, right, right. Yeah, that was pretty good. I liked uh, Get Out was good. Um, what was the other one by the same dude? It was in Santa Cruz, California, where they uh, the family and they they duplicate the family and. Oh, um, you girl, mean us? Us, yeah, that was good. Right. <laughs> So, so I, you know, my my favorites are, are all the classics because I saw them when they come out. I saw the original Halloween when it came out. I saw the the original Friday the Thirteenth when they came out. So, uh, but the Halloweens are are really good. Right, for sure, sure. Um, is there anything you would like to add to the interview? Uh, no, that's it. I mean, uh, my YouTube channel. I've got all my uh, my kind of collab jams are all up there. I've got uh, the violence thing is coming out. The BPMD record is uh, out now. It's available now called American Made on uh, Nate Palm Records. So uh, check all that out. We got something new coming from Violence. We're doing a little video with its a little album teaser that's going to be coming out too. So you know, once all this gets lifted and we're able to tour again, and I'll be doing something pretty soon. You know, coming out to the Netherlands, I'm sure. Awesome! I'll be there. All right, man. Get back to school. Thank you guys so much. Sorry. <laughs> you, oh, it's the summertime, so you're not you're not in school anymore. Right? No, no, no. <laughs> well, it's almost over. It's I think like two more weeks now. All right, very good. All, All right, right, thank good, you guys. Good, good to meet you, man. Yeah, yeah for sure. All right, be good. We've waited this long. Hell, Hell no longer awaits. Wait, wait, wait.